Hello everyone, this is Mohammad Ashikur Jaman. I'm a PhD student at Concordia University, Canada. Today I'm going to talk about the paper Fast and Robust Localization of Surgical Array Using Kalman Filter. Here is an overview of my presentation. First, I will talk about optical tracking in surgical procedure. Then I will discuss about temporal tracking in surgical, uh, temporal filtering in surgical tracking. Then I will go forward to talk about the proposed technique and its applicability in total knee arthroplasty. Then we will see the experiments conducted in this study and the results produced from those. And uh, finally, I will draw some concluding remarks with some comments on the possible future work. So optical tracking technique uh, is increasingly being used uh, in robust localization of surgical tools. And thus, uh, it is helping the surgeons to perform high precision surgical procedure. But now the main question is that, how is it performed? So here in this picture, we can see a typical view of the optical tracking setup uh, in a surgery room. So uh, the tracking is performed by a multi-camera system and the camera system tracks some active fiducials which are actually mounted on the surgical array. And when the position information for the active fiducials are gathered, then the array geometry is taken into account to calculate the pose of the mark, uh, array. So what do you mean by the pose? The pose is actually uh, the uh, rotation matrix or rotation vector and the translation vector of the surgical, uh, uh, for the motion of the surgical array. So it is worth mentioning uh, that uh, temporal tracking data is often uh, corrupted by extensive acquisition and estimation noise. It can uh, lead to imprecise localization of surgical tool and thus uh, it can end up in serious and irrevocable surgical error. And to reduce the risk of that, Temporal filtering techniques such as Kalman filter has been proposed, but the problem of Kalman filter is that it can only handle the linear system. And to uh, resolve this limitation, extended Kalman filter has been proposed, but uh, since it works uh, based on linearizing the nonlinear system by performing the Taylor series expansion, it is actually highly dependent on the operating point. And uh, to remove this drawback, uh, unscented Kalman filter has been proposed. An unscented Kalman uh, filter involves a lot of calculation steps. That's why it is computationally complex and it takes a long time to execute. So now I'm going to talk about the proposed technique, uh, which, is, uh, which is mainly suitable for high frame rate applications. Uh, such an example is total knee arthroplasty. In this surgical procedure, the optical uh, tracking device, it actually works at a frame rate of around 2000 frames per second. So we can see that this is a very high frame rate application. Uh, and so the, the nonlinear motion of the surgical array involved in this uh, procedure uh, can, be, uh, can be modeled with some, um, with some linear system. So what we are proposing here, we are proposing to track each fiducial mounted on the surgical array individually instead of tracking the whole array as a whole. So we are proposing to implement a linear common filter with some Newtonian motion model. So uh, what are the advantages that we expect uh, from this technique? The first advantage is that this is independent on any operating point. The second one is that it is computationally straightforward. And the third and most important one is that it is fast and facilitates uh, real-time tracking. And the final advantage is that here we are, uh, we are operating and we are tracking uh, each fiducial individually. So any unusual phenomena uh, happening in some of the fiducial can be tracked and detected individually, and it can be reported to the surgeon right away. Such a phenomenon is that, for example, one of the fiducials of the array can be blocked by some translucent material, for example, a drop of blood or a surgical scrab or so. So this kind of phenomena can be detected right away since we are working on each fiducial individually. And uh, this can be uh, reported to the uh, surgeon just after the, uh, just after the uh, detection. So this is the mathematical details of Kalman filter. So how common filter works? It actually takes the previous state and the previous state covariance matrix into account 
to refine a noisy measurement. And this refinement actually done in two steps. The first one is the prediction step, and the second, uh, and the second one is the refinement of the prediction made in the first step. So here comes the prediction step. The first task in the prediction uh, step is to uh, predict the prior estimate of the current state based on the previous state and emotion model. And this equation actually calculates the prior estimate of the, uh, of the uh, state covariance matrix uh, based on the previous state covariance matrix and the uh, process covariance matrix. And uh, this is called the covariance matrix under equation. And so that's all for the prediction state. And after the prediction, here comes the refinement state. And the first task in refinement state is to calculate the carbon gain. And once it is calculated, uh, once the Kalman gain is calculated, then the real measurement is taken into account to uh, refine the prediction for the current state. And similarly, the Kalman gain is incorporated to refine the prediction for the uh, for, uh, prediction for the current state covariance matrix. And once the positions are uh, one the position or uh, once the position measurements are refined, then a point matching algorithm is taken into account to calculate the marker pose in terms of uh, a rotation uh, vector and a uh, translation vector. So in this study, we conduct both simulation and real experiments. In the simulation experiment, uh, the, uh, the, the, the motion of the surgical array is simulated with some forward kinematics which involves a transformation matrix. And that actually involves a 3D rotation matrix and a 3D translation vector. And the rotation matrix is updated by this equation temporally, where R prime stands for uh, the, uh, the temporal derivative of the rotation matrix, of, uh, which is actually uh, defined in terms of a screw symmetric matrix omega, which is defined like this. And in the real experiment, we take into account a commercial multi-camera system, which is used in total knee arthroplasty. And this multi-camera system actually tracks a surgical array with four fiducials mounted on it. And we collect three types of data from it. The first one is static. The second one is dynamic data, where, uh, where the surgical array involves some sort of realistic motion. And the third one, uh, is the data from uh, a blocked fiducial. So in this experiment for blocking one of the fiducials, what we do, we use some translucent material. And here our translucent material is a glass diffuser. So here comes our result. In this slide, we can see the simulation result for the position of the fiducials. The first row, it actually shows the whole temporal domain. And in the second row, we can see the magnified view of the performance. And it is clear that both Kalman filter and unscented Kalman filter, they, uh, uh, they substantially reduce the measurement noise. Here, we, uh, again, we see the simulation results, but this is for the pose of the array. And the pose is characterized by a rotation vector and a translation vector. Again, it is clear that both Kalman filter and unscented Kalman filter substantially stabilizes the temporal performance. And this is the quantitative result for the mean squared error for the pose of the array. And here we can see that uh, Kalman filter actually reduces the mean squared error by more than a factor of 10. And here comes the real data set. And uh, this is the qualitative result for the static data set. And this is the quantitative result for the post variance of the static data set. And again, we can see that uh, here Kalman filter and uncentered Kalman filter, it reduce, uh, uh, they reduce the post variance uh, substantially. And uh, this is the second, this is the result for the second data set, which, uh, which comes from the surgical array with realistic motion. And this is the uh, uh, qualitative result. And in this case, we see that the unscented Kalman filter, it shows some sort of downward bias. And this is the quantitative performance uh, of Kalman filter and unscented Kalman filter for the same data set. 
And this is the reason for the last data set, which was obtained from block fiducial. Here we can see that in the temporal region of unblocked and in the blocked, in both temporal regions, Kalman filtered and unscented Kalman filtered, they follow the trend of the measurement, but with substantially less noise than the measurement. And uh, 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 this is the execution time for both unscented Kalman filter and Kalman filter. We can see that in this case, Kalman filter substantially outperform, uh, outperforms unscented Kalman filter by reducing the running time from more than seven milliseconds to less than one millisecond. So what we're doing in this work is that uh, we propose to track uh, each fiducial individually, uh, which can be applied in total knee arthroplasty. And, uh, 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 and uh, this, this scheme is uh, mainly applicable for the high frame rate applications. And here we are proposing to implement a simple linear Kalman filter, taking Newtonian model into account. And uh, we have performed simulation and real experiments in this study. And uh, we have seen that uh, a substantial temporal stabilization is achieved and the implementation is straightforward and real time. And also another advantage of the proposed technique is that it can characterize the temporal phenomena at each uh, individual fiducial. And finally, one possible future work is that we can apply the machine learning technique for temporal stabilization, where the output of the Kalman filter can be used for the data labeling. So we are thankful to Mr. Maxwell Arugas for, this, uh, for his helpful discussion. This work is funded by NSARC. Also, I'm thankful to my co-workers at Impact Laboratory. And these are the references used in this presentation. Thank you so much.